Good morning. Oh, that's lovely. Good morning, Clark. <laughs> it is a beautiful day today, and it was supposed to rain. It did rain really hard last night, but it's nice right now. Good morning, Kellogg. Jeff's getting the extra propane tank out because we're going to hook up the extender stay. I'm about at a half a tank, and this way I can just take the propane tank in and have it filled, and I don't have to take my whole rig in. So, yes, we're going to hook up the extender stay. Um, yeah, the hose is in here. Right here. I think that's the one. Yeah, it's one of these. Oh, here's the gauge, too. That we need to put on the tank. the tank, yes. Yeah, I ordered another one of these for my tank. Did you? Yeah. Okay, the one with the filter on it goes to... Oh, God. I shouldn't really be having this in the mud. Oh, here it is. That's the one that goes to the extended stay. And this goes to the buddy heater. I'll hold this if you want to. Well, we you have need. to connect that first. Kind of need a oh, there. shoot. Look at There's ready mud in it. I should have some scissors in my rig. There's a quick connect right there. You just push it back and it should push in. Yeah, you might need both hands for that. Oh, be careful not to push on it like that because you push it down. <sighs> That's fine. Uh, is it releasing? This should be off, right? It is off, yeah. Maybe okay. it's just... Oh, uh, just extra gas yeah. in the line? Okay. Maybe. Yeah, it should snap in. Oh. There we go. There we go. Good Good job. Job. Yeah, you hook that to the tank. Extend to stay. I love it. Can't put it on my rig. Why? Because it the way the oh. there's no room. Oh. <laughs> okay, that should be good. Okay, just turn that valve on, and then we'll turn the valve. Right. Okay. Yeah, so and then we'll turn this valve. You just turn this valve right there on. No, no, this valve on the tank. Oh. <laughs> yep, that's it. Yeah. And then you want to cut off the propane so it doesn't use any more of the onboard propane. Right. There we go. I can actually fill up my onboard if I raise this above uh, the tank and turn mm -hmm. this upside down. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, okay. good to go. Yeah. Awesome. Let's scoot this in a little bit. <clears throat> okay. Uh-oh, here comes the rain again. So I saved four organic plum seeds. I'm gonna see if I can grow them. I know it'll take them a while to grow, but I do wanna try from seed. So we're filling up some containers now. I'm gonna plant these and see if they'll grow. I'm sure they will as long as I water them. One, two, three, and four. We've got another one because I am trying to grow a vine. So I put these plants in water just to see if they would sprout roots and the vines Ed got me are actually starting to sprout roots. So I'm gonna see if I can get these planted. This one still probably needs a little more time. So I'm going to plant this one. There's a couple roots on there now. It's just gonna go in there then cover it up. Look, I don't even have to water anything. <laughs> there we go. Put that in there. Because the rain is coming. Rain will water it for me. I'm really hoping these will grow. I'm excited, but we'll see. I placed them over here by Panda. I smashed that down a little bit. And I'm not sure how much it's actually going to rain. It's supposed to rain a lot, but I'm still going to water them in just to get the soil moist and everything started. I'm really excited. I hope these plum trees grow. That'll be four plum trees on the property. We already have how many trees? 
uh, fruit uh, one, trees. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven fruit trees on the on the property. So this will just add, and we're just gonna add more fruit trees every year. All right, right here beside the walkway, I planted some garlic. I just want to plant some herbs and stuff and see how they actually do in ground because the soil, also rodents, they are around here. So just want to see how everything does in ground and also in the barrels. Well, it stopped raining and the river stopped flowing. There's like a river that, or a stream that comes through here and it flooded this whole area. These were actually floating. So what I did is dug some channels, diverting channels. I'm gonna fill those with rock so that way it comes into here and the water can water the trees and the bush and whatever I plant in here. And this has dried all up, so I'm not worried about that. But if wa more water was to come in here, I also dug, or Jeff and I dug this trench here, so the water can come in here and feed this tree. So, since it's raining, we're burning some cardboard to get rid of some stuff out of the shipping container. I'm talking about cardboard, I, I had saved cardboard. And we laid cardboard all through here because this is where the garden's going to be. I'm just going to have a path on this side. And then we're going to put mulch down in here. And we put two more containers in. This is what the cardboard and paper was in. So that's that. We already cut the holes out so they can touch the soil. Just have to fill them up. Trying to clean out this shipping container and get it organized. It's surprising how much stuff you can collect when you have property and a shipping container to store stuff. But yeah, I want the storage to be where the shelves are and nothing past that so we can use this so it can be all usable space for events and stuff or gatherings that we have. Ugh, gotta go to the dump. There's a lot of trash. So one thing I wanted to show you is one of my friends left their galoshes behind and I've seen these turned into planters and that's what I'm going to do. Actually drilled holes in the bottom and I'm going to fill them with soil and plant them out next season. I'm just going to put uh, flowers in it that drape down. The cedar? Yeah. I bought it from Home, Home Depot and Flagstaff. Yeah, it's going to be nice when it grows up. Look, we have a herd of cattle over there coming for a visit. There's about four of them with white faces. Those are the ones kind of creepy when they stare at you. It's like they stare through your soul. They, they think all of them are lost babies. Oh yeah, they're like, oh no, one of our babies is there. All of your family's here. Oh, the rain's coming back. Yay. Yep, the rain's coming back. It's a beautiful sunny day, isn't it, Mumu? What are you up to? Nothing, lounging, watching people? People watching? All right, so we moved the trailer that was here because I'm gonna put in a drying line, a clothesline. I have to install a pole here. And it's gonna be hooked to the back of Panda. So I'm gonna put some eye hooks in there and do four lines, two high ones and two low ones for drying clothes. We're installing a place for the wood. We used pallets, so we, we're reusing the pallets that we got with the uh, mulch and then we're gonna put this plywood across top but we have to put supports and angle it so that way Brady actually suggested it so that way the rain water or snow can actually move off and it won't be standing or sitting still. Brady's actually cutting the support for the pee drain and the toilet and the toilet, it's gonna connect to that so that it's it's basically a spacer, so you won't touch this at all with your bum. Mm -hmm. No touching it with your bum. Idea, idea, you see this stuff on the side? What stuff? This the corrugated? corrugated? Put yeah. that on top of your plywood. Could, but the thing about it, wait, plywood, you mean um, firewood? No, if you're gonna put no. a couple supports, put the plywood, the plywood on. on the top, cover put the that, covered that to protect Ooh. it. Oh, well, I'm going to paint it, but yeah, I could just buy another one of these and then just, but I don't know what, is that eight, yeah, that's eight foot, but I don't know how 
Where is yeah, it? I would have to get two of these. Yeah. It, it ends yeah, there. Oh foot. yeah, it's only two foot. So. Yeah, but you would want the water to run down like so. Right. Jeez. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. You're like the fifth person that stepped on those things. I've it's got it. Still alive. Okay. It'll still work. But if you did that. You could collect rainwater right underneath it too. Right. Well, th then it would have to be angled this way, and That's it would pour this way. No, you could do it either way. Put angle it this way, or angle it this way. Right. Oh, uh, you mean put them this way? Either that way or this way doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking more slope it this way, and then it could just go off this edge because yeah, I could do it the long. same. Right. Yeah. They're long, so we would have to do as much cutting. All right. Well, anyways, we'll figure that out later. Yep. Clothes line going here, and that's where we move the trailer. It's over there for now. It's getting dark, but we decided to, well, I decided to put the wood shed over here. It just made more sense because we also want to do rainwater collection off of this that will go into the shower barrels. And if we did it on that side, then there's no way we could cross the door to, we'd have to put the barrels over there and then reline. It's just, it was a lot more process. So we thought it just easier just to put this here. Now I'm gonna paint all of this, then put the corrugated stuff on the top. And then we also, I bought a gutter system to go here. And then it's gonna go right into the rain barrels. Look, women, we have visitors on the property. So there are a herd of cows that came through. They were actually on my property, but have moved over to Ensues. If you don't want the cows on your property, because this is all free range land, the um, rancher just allows them to roam everywhere. You actually have to put fencing up to keep them out if you don't want them on your property. All right, Mimu, come on. Oops, uh, Beautiful sunrise this morning. Are you a cow, Mumu? Are you trying to eat grass? <laughs> They're getting brave. I came around this corner here, and there was a cow over here. And I guess I scared it, um, or startled it coming around the corner, and it took off this way and ran around. Normally they aren't this brave. They usually stay away from the property, but I guess they're getting comfortable with us being here. It's probably going to be time to get some fence put up around the perimeter. I'm not really worried about it as long as they don't get into the center camp area where I'll be having the garden and growing things or eating any of the flowers that I planted. But that's why I got all these gates to keep them out and stuff. And of course the wonderful fencing. <laughs> you eating your breakfast? It's actually been a while since I've gotten up this early. It's nice to be on the property and watch the sunrise. Oh, it's getting bright.
So I heard banging and screwing still going on in the outdoor shower. Yeah. <laughs> you know it's raining, right? We're done. You're done? We're done. And he put in the piece of wood there to cover that part. That looks awesome. Do you want to show them the finished product? Well, other than being painted? Other than being painted? There it is. Um, so those are the containers for? Right. For um, your compost medium and your toilet paper and they do have to be up some or you these lids don't stay on right so they're up and they come right out so they just drop in look it's already got a little bit of um yep. medium in it a little sawdust and then to open the seat because the seat is so thick you just got to pull this out and lift the seat and there it is you can just pull your bucket out yep and I've got plumber's putty around this on both sides, and this is screwed in real tight. And then, and this is in there on right. this screw. It's not that coming looks good. out. And I'll glue that in too. You don't even need to. You just set it in, and that oh. screw will hold it in. Oh, nice. And that's all stainless steel. So. Stainless steel, stainless steel, everything. Yep, so it won't rust. That looks really good. And it won't smell bad. And the pee will be diverted. It will go we don't away. even have to worry about the pee. Nope. Or the well liquids. Done. And then this one got all the tools in it but yeah, yeah but that's, that's the same where thing. the toilet paper will be going and it's not bad I mean no. you don't feel that you know when you're sitting on it you don't feel it okay we're testing it out not really I just want to sit down oh yeah that's comfy I like that the legs are my comfy. head is cut off everything's comfy <laughs> yeah oh it's not comfy when the wind is blowing though and it's raining anyway now we can get a shower and pee and poo at the same time I know so you actually you gotta be real talented <laughs> yeah yeah, but you can sit and take a shower. Yeah, I guess. I guess, but I don't know if I'd do that. You're going to have to put some waterproofing I'm actually going to, um, I'll probably install a bench into here just for people who like to sit while they take a shower. Okay. I don't. I'm not one of those people, so. Yeah, and you got to watch for drones. Oh, yeah, we don't want the drones because there's no ceiling here, so. Well, thank you. He threw a, flew a drone over yesterday. Oh, did he? I told him this is a no-fly zone. <laughs> thank you, Randy. No drone zone. Okay, we're done. I'm cleaning up my mess. And remember, check out his channel. Traveling with the Graham Cracker. And what's the video where you do the complete build out? Um, I've done two. One's uh, toileting for older van dwellers and the other one was with the old van build. So I've done two. Okay. Yeah, yeah just check out his channel. Yeah. Last year's stuff. 2000, what? 20. 20. Yeah. 2020. <laughs> and 2019. Right. Yeah. Okay. So Jeff drilled a hole and we're putting in these hook bolts. To where the line Ooh. is gonna feed in. Is it gonna work? Yeah, I just probably better knock that off. Yeah, something. we get a chisel and chisel that off. And it's so we got exactly the right size. I didn't want a bunch of bolts yeah. sticking out. I guess we could have yeah, cut I, it back, yeah, but. That's okay. I know where the hammer and chisel is. Okay. So, yeah, this is how it's gonna be. And we're going to tighten that down and install one more up here. Well, yeah, if you do it sideways, you get a little bit more. I, think. I don't think it matters. That washer's not big enough. This one, yeah. Well, the question is, do we need that washer on that side at all? No, we don't, because it's not big enough. It's supposed to protect it from this digging into the wood. Yeah. But as long as we don't over tighten it. Won't, yeah. yeah, as long as we don't over tighten it, it should be yeah. fine. And you're just going to use that like a loop and loop the... Right. So the line will come from Panda, come through here, and then back out, and then go to the other side of Panda. I am going to eventually paint this old girl and also make her more useful on the property. We already use her for all the water storage stuff. Our gardening stuff goes into this bay here. Yeah, just got to paint her and make her look good again. And then we're also putting the clothesline here. And I think eventually this is where the utility room is gonna go. So it'd be easy to wash the clothes, then get them out and hang them up on the line. At least the wood is hard. I mean, could all stay longer. Or last longer. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good wood. I had it tied off on one end. 
Now I'm just gonna feed it through. So we had to move the eye bolt and I placed it in this screw hole here. There are existing screw holes that hold on this. But yeah, now we're gonna put the string tightener on here so that we can get the string real tight. All right, I'm gonna grab a wrench real quick so I can, it's kind of hard to reach in here. Okay, we've got the line one in and it's tightened. Yay. Now I might have to readjust this line after it stretches out a little bit. And also, you know, once you get clothes on there, so I might still have to do it. It has a little, but that's pretty good actually. Doing, 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 doing. Okay, well, we have to drill it out because this is aluminum and the holes are too small for the bolts. There we go. That should be good. Not too much. Get it started. Ready for the line and the line tightener. <laughs> 